Hi everyone, welcome back to 17 square meters garden. Today's video is gonna be a quick tutorial on how to plant fall plants in the same pot with spring bulbs. And there are two ways that you can do it. You can either create a beautiful fall composition that you will enjoy in fall and in winter, and then in spring, you will take the plants out and you will allow the space for the bulbs to emerge. Or you can create a fall composition with spring bulbs that once the spring arrives and the bulbs start to emerge they will complement your composition and you don't have to take out any of the previously planted fall plants okay so here are the bulbs and the flowers that i'm gonna use for today's two compositions in this larger container i'm gonna plant plenty of bulbs uh, and on top of that i'm gonna plant a fall composition so that in spring i can remove those fall plants and i can leave the space for the bulbs to emerge to have a full pot uh, of beautiful daffodils. I'm using daffodils um, Obdam and Golden uh, Ducat. For this purpose you could use any larger bulbs, so bulbs that are a little bit bigger like daffodils, tulips, hyacinths, larger alliums. Uh, although with tulips be a little bit more careful when you water because tulips are prone to rot and they should be planted a little bit later in the season. Uh, although I have planted tulips um, in October or even late September in mixed compositions like this and they did just fine but just be mindful uh, when you water to not overwater your plants uh, so that the bulbs don't rot out. Whatever bulb you plant obviously you always want to plant it pointy side up if you are not sure which side is pointy because with some bulbs it's actually hard to tell you can plant them on their side uh, this way the bulb will still find its way up plant them roughly two to three times their depth so for example if i will have soil level until about here so to measure two three times deeper i could go even deeper than than this in the pot but i'm gonna just leave them like this they will be fine space them uh, close to each other but not touching if you want to keep them for many years because daffodils are great for that you can keep them for years and you can plant perennial plants on top of them and because their stems are so strong, they can emerge in between um, the roots of perennial plants. So if you were to keep them for many years, just space them further apart because the bulb, as they naturalize and as they grow, they will have little bulblets on the side. Here's the perfect example. So this year I'm planting eight, but next year I may have many more than that because they reproduce. So that's uh, how you should space them close, but not touching. Uh, and that's plenty enough space for them to grow. Also, don't, make sure that they don't touch the, the wall of your container. Now I'm just going to cover them with soil and I will start to plant my perennials on top. My first composition is ready. I used hukura, I used heather, uh, dichondra silver falls, which is not uh, frost hardy, but even uh, when it dies, it still keeps this silver color, so it still looks amazing. I used one viola and ornamental cabbage. Uh, and now in the second composition, the purpose of the second composition will be that the spring bulbs, once they bloom in spring, they um, complement the composition so that I don't have to take any of these plants out so for this purpose I need to use smaller bulbs and closer to the surface in between the gaps uh, of other plants so any smaller bulbs will do for example china doxa, pushkinia, crocus uh, anything that is uh, small and grows short something quite simple but still fairly similar to this composition I am using the same colors so that I can put them close to each other and they will complement each other so uh, I'm, ha I'm using heather 
and I'm using perennial cyclamens. If you are searching for some ideas, I have two videos. I recently published one about fall plants and I also have one about winter plants. I will link them at the end of this video if you need some inspiration. Uh, but yeah, let's quickly plant these two cyclamens. One small header. So now what you can do is you can either leave a small gap in here where you will plant your smaller bulbs or you can just fill the container like evenly with all these plants and pop the bulbs in between those plants. So here I have crocus uh, corms that I kept from last year. As you can see they multiplicated so they will have several flowers per corm. So you can just gently either push them or you can just make a small hole. They don't have to be planted too deeply, uh, just a few centimeters below the surface. Um, so yeah, just uh, dig a tiny hole with your finger and just plant them randomly in, uh, in between these other plants. So once you plant all the bulbs, uh, water your plants initially and then water them every now and then in fall and in winter as well. The bulbs will not rot out as long as you don't overwater the planters. Okay, so here it is my fall composition with spring bulbs. These two planters will be standing next to each other uh, because I think they look really uh, lovely together. Um, so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed today's video, that it gave you some new ideas of how you can incorporate your spring bulbs with your fall plantings. If you are searching for some uh, other ideas, I have plenty of videos, so I will link the spring bulbs playlist in the description box as well as at the end of this video. But for now, thanks for joining me today and I will see you again in the next video. Bye!